I am Anil Kumar and in this video we have taken up a sinusoidal function which is a periodic function also and we will consider its characteristics. So we will talk about few things which are one the maximum value, minimum value, axis of the graph, amplitude, and uh, time period. Once we understand this a bit, we'll get into the equation of the periodic function also. Uh, to be very specific, equation of sinusoidal functions, right? We'll consider that in uh, in next video. Now, you can read these values from the graph itself. The graph is given to us. Maximum value is the maximum value attained by the function right so in this particular example the maximum value is equal to plus one right so here we can read the value and say well the maximum in this case is equal to one the minimum value here is minus three so this is minus three that is one minimum value in this case is minus three now axis amplitude and time period can be calculated from here now what is axis Axis is the average, so so think about axis as uh, as average, average value, right? So that is what we are looking for. So average will be you can add maximum and minimum, right? You can add maximum and minimum, and then divide by two. So if you do that, you get axis. So that is the formula for finding the axis for any sinusoidal function, right? So now we are specifically talking about periodic functions which are sinusoidal, not other kinds of waves. Remember that part. So let us calculate the value for axis. So in this case, since maximum is 1 and minimum is minus 3, so it would be 1 plus minus 3 divided by 2, right? So that is minus 2 divided by 2, which is minus 1. So once we get axis, we can actually sketch. Uh, so let me draw the axis here on this particular graph. So that is the axis. So let us understand these things in uh, very clearly so that later it becomes easy for us to understand all other things. Correct. Now let's look into amplitude. So axis is clear. So equation of axis will be, since it is a horizontal line, we could also write this as as y equals to minus 1. So that is a constant y value, correct? So I could write equation of axis as y equals to minus 1. Now let's look into amplitude. So when we say amplitude, then we are actually trying to say how far the maximum is or the minimum is from the axis, so the distance from the axis. So amplitude could be found in a couple of different ways. Uh, let me discuss that with you. First one is amplitude, as I said, how much away it is from the axis. So we could, once we have found axis, we can say maximum value minus axis is equals to amplitude. So in this particular case, using this formula, what we can do is maximum is 1, correct? So 1 minus minus 1 will give us 2. So the amplitude is 2. You can check here. 2 units, 1 and 1, 2 units. So this is one formula which can be used. And there is another formula for amplitude. And that formula is just as we found axis by finding the average value, we can find the difference, right? And then divide by 2. So it is maximum minus minimum divide by 2. So let us use this formula and check whether we get the same result or not, right? So I'll do it on here itself. So maximum for us is 1 minus minimum is minus 3 divided by 2. So that becomes plus, right? Minus and minus. So it is 1 plus 3 divided by 2, which is indeed 2. So we get exactly the same value. So some of you as an exercise, what you can do is you can use the formula for axis, maximum minus axis, replace this with maximum plus minimum divided by 2 and derive this formula, right? So that is a question for you. So let me write down this question for you. So question for you is derive derive this formula from uh, from this equation. Okay? Connect these two, right? Show that these are same equation. This is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So anyway, so that is what you could do. 
it is always good when you go through my videos try to explore a little bit more than what I'm telling you about okay now let's talk about time period now time period is the duration after which the cycle is repeated so as we discussed if I am considering cycle from let us say minimum value to next minimum value then this time duration is our time period right so so change in this time since each is uh, for us one two three four points are two units right so in this particular case it is one and one two units you get the point so since the scale is 0 0.5 on the horizontal so this is one for us correct so one and then this is two so each unit is 0 0.5 so sometimes you may do a calculation mistake counting those small ones as one right now it is not so 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 the time period in this particular case is this horizontal distance you can say it is uh, 2.5 minus 1.5 if you are checking the minimums is it okay so let me write down here what is time period so time period could be calculated in many different ways one way is uh, difference between maximum right so one is difference uh, between maximum values right one could be difference between minimum values right that also will give you the same time period or it could be two times uh, difference between uh, uh, the maximum and minimum value right so, so what I'm trying to say is two times difference between uh, let us say you are given trough trough is the minimum which so uh, let's call this as a peak right that is a technical term and these are troughs right so so we could say trough time right so trough time trough uh, minus uh, peak independent value so we are actually talking about the horizontal right so horizontal or let me write independent because that will be so independent value for trough minus peak so twice that so because you can see that is the half wave that's not the full wave that is the half wave so sometimes you may have a smaller graph you may not be in a position to see either two maximums or two minimums in that case it is good to go with a maximum and a minimum just multiply that by two so this is half the wave you get the point right so it is half the wave so that is how you could find the time period right so in this particular case we could use a formula whichever you want to let's take two minimums so these minimums are at 2.5 and the first one is at 0 0.5 and when you take away you get two right I haven't written any units so we'll just keep two units as for this example but I hope with this you get very clear idea about how to find maximum minimum excess amplitude and time period for a sinusoidal function right so these are very important formulas you can make a note of all this and then we'll also explore how to find equation of sinusoidal function as given here so uh, we'll just take a break and then we'll actually pull in very simple examples of sinusoidal functions and that get then get back to this complicated one it is not a simple one and write its equation in sine and cosine functions so that is going to be interesting you can do it on your own as a practice question also. Thank you and all the best.